Imagine standing at the edge of existence, staring at a swirling giant 318 times the mass of Earth, a planet with no surface and no mercy. Now, what if you fell into Jupiter? This isn't just a fall. It's a journey into the heart of one of the most mysterious monsters in our solar system. A gas giant so massive, it warps the orbits of entire worlds. You won't survive the trip, but what you'll learn before you're crushed, vaporized, and obliterated might change the way you see the universe. Let's dive in. You approach Jupiter on board a hypothetical spacecraft, ready to make the plunge. From a distance, it looks calm, even beautiful. Thick bands of color swirl across its surface, reds, oranges, whites. But this isn't paint. It's ferocious, endless storms, larger than entire continents. Your spacecraft positions above the upper atmosphere. No solid ground below, just clouds. You step out, and the fall begins. Gravity immediately pulls you downward, twice as hard as Earth's. You accelerate, faster, and faster. Within seconds, you're moving at hundreds of kilometers per hour. The air thickens. You're now inside Jupiter's upper cloud deck, ammonia clouds. They're freezing cold, minus 145 degrees Celsius, and the pressure begins to build. Still survivable, if you're in a specially designed pressure suit. But this is just the first layer. Below you, the water clouds. Temperatures rise. It's dark. You're entering a world without sunlight, lit only by electrical storms around you. Thunder rolls. You're falling through the most violent lightning storms in the solar system. Bolts 1,000 times stronger than those on Earth strike around you, unseen. You've fallen over 100 kilometers. You feel heavier. The pressure now is over 10x Earth's. Oxygen, gone. Light, gone. Up and down, they stop making sense. You're not falling through a planet. You're sinking into a churning sea of hydrogen and hell. Eventually, you're so deep, hydrogen behaves differently. It becomes metallic. Yes, metallic hydrogen. Hydrogen compressed so hard, it turns into an electrical conductor, a metal without form. You're sinking through this alien ocean, hotter than any volcano, under more pressure than Earth's deepest trenches. Here, the pressure is two million times Earth's atmosphere. To survive here, you'd need a ship made of impossible materials. Even your atoms would begin to fail. Electrons stripped. Molecules crushed. This is the point where physics stops feeling human. And yet, Jupiter's core still lies far below. Theoretically, deep at the center of Jupiter lies a core. We don't know exactly what it is. It could be solid, liquid, or something in between. Some models say it's a superheated ball of metallic elements. Others suggest it has dissolved into the surrounding hydrogen sea. But one thing is certain. It's hot, around 24,000 degrees Celsius, and under extreme gravitational compression. You've fallen for hours, your body long gone, your atoms scattered. But in this journey, you've passed through layers no human has ever seen. A planet so alien, it could hold secrets to how all giant planets are born. Maybe even how solar systems begin. Let's rewind for a moment. Why does falling into Jupiter matter? Because understanding Jupiter is key to understanding planetary formation. Jupiter shaped the solar system, deflecting comets, guarding Earth from destruction, and possibly playing a role in why life exists here at all. Jupiter holds moons that may harbor life. Europa Ganymede Callisto. It has rings. It has radiation belts deadlier than any nuclear reactor. And despite all our technology, we've barely scratched its surface. Because, of course, there is no surface. If you fell into Jupiter, you wouldn't hit ground. You'd fall forever. Through gas. Then fluid. Then metal. Then mystery. But what if there's more? What if deep inside this giant is a secret no telescope can see? A truth we're not ready for? Jupiter guards those secrets well. And all we can do is wonder. What else is out there? What would happen if you fell into Saturn? Into a black hole? Into the sun? This universe is filled with questions. And your curiosity? That's the first step toward the answers.